This is a great problem to look at for both understanding factor label and showing that you can really, really do it, as well as looking at a problem that has information given within the, the wording of the problem. So you're not supposed to be looking at a metrics chart or anything, but the wording is all there. All the information you need is in the problem. So let's look at what this is asking. So here's the first question is how many gargars? So that's what they want to know about is this weird made up word. These are all made up words. And notice it does say how many will fit in a crate. This is the same thing as saying one crate. Now, a crate will hold 600 utils. Again, a crate, that's the same thing as one crate equals 600 utils. And then we have, it will contain 10 Arbots. So one util, 10 Arbots. Two Arbots is one Carcos. And Each carcos is four gargar. So each is the same thing as saying one. So one carcos equals four gargars. And you notice the one thing I didn't write down, this isn't related to anything. We don't know what it is um, equal to. It's just got one unit. That's how you know where to start is the thing that has one unit. Now at this point, if you want to pause the video and you want to set this up and see if you can get it all in the right place, go for it. So I'm just going to put my units in place. I've got to get rid of crates. It goes diagonally downwards. And then I look over here. Ah, I can get a crate to a util. And then again, I'm not looking yet. I'm just automatically dropping that util diagonally down. Here's another util one right there. That takes me to an Arbot. And again, I'm just dropping it diagonally. Here's an Arbot to a Carcos. And again, I'm just dropping that car coast diagonally. And it takes me to a gargar, -gar, which is what I need, a gargar. -gar. I'm going to throw the units all, or the numbers back in. 1 to 600. 1 to 10. 2 to 1. 1 to 4. I'm going to get my calculator out. 1 times 600 times 10, times 1, but you don't have to put the 1 in, times 4, and then divide it by 1, divide it by 1, you don't have to put the 1 in, divide up, oops, divide it by 2, divide it by 1. And that gives me 1.2 times 10 to the 4th. And the answer would be gargars because... A crate cancels with a crate, a util cancels with a util, the Arbot cancels with the Arbot, and the Carcos cancels with the Carcos. So I'm only left with Gargars. Now, sig fig wise, that's one sig fig. This started the whole thing. This is an exact, this is exactly one crate. So maybe I wouldn't worry about counting that one. But there's a sig fig there. That's just one sig fig, one sig fig, one sig fig, one sig fig. So these all have one sig fig. So I actually just need this number and notice that the two does not round up the one so it's the answer is just one times ten to the fourth gargars.